Back up, and when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get, get up. up. Cause yeah. homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving it up. Low lie, yo lie, boy, we living what it up. up. Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show. Yeah. Slip my girl a 44 when she crap in the back door. Chickens looking at me strange, but you know I don't care. Step up in the smother, what? just a swank in my head. Trick, quick talking, quick walk if you down with the set. Take a bullet with some grip and take the smoke on this jet. Out of town, put it down for the father of rap. And if you happen to get cracked, trick, shut your trap. Come back, get back, that's the part of success. If you believe in the S, you'll be relieving your stress. Da 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 it's the one and only Eagle Double G. No, 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 no. Da 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 da, you know I'm on it with the D O E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da 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 da, it's the one and only Eagle Double G. No, 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 Eagle Double G. Hey, what's going on guys, it's your boy Springfoot, back with another video, and today we're going to be playing 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross. So, for a while, I've been thinking about doing this, and I thought it was the perfect time to do it while I'm taking a break from Legends. So today, I finally got my King 6 Six as you've seen in the beginning of this video. So we are going to be using the boy, the goat. What? First, we're going to take this on ungeared, and then we're going to do two more matches on geared. So, this is already pre-recorded, so we're just going to be looking at this part. Because, uh, I forgot to turn my mic on <laughs> during this, but... Yeah, this makes a whole 55 will ya? I don't know why. I guess, and I, mean, I guess he didn't have the all removal. So the best way to use 616 is to slap this blue Elizabeth on here, because of her passive. If she dies, she full hills whoever you know alive and gives them two alt gauges but she's also good when she's alive as well because she can give you immunity which you'll probably see in this match i think it is it's gonna be very good and um, also she can heal off her ult and give two alt gauges off of that before even dying so right here we already have her ult but he needs to decide i already uh petrified his Lilia, so he can't really you know stop my team right now and I doubt he had the cards to you know, stop me. His hand was sealed. Yeah. He kills Lilio, which is the biggest mistake because now he gave Escanor his ult. My Escanor is 3 6, so he's basically gonna one shot anybody he comes across. It doesn't matter who you are, you're dying. Alright, so I'm thinking this out. I'm like, okay, we're gonna use King 6 6 ult, and then we're gonna use Escanor's ult on that one. So now we're just gonna get jiggy with it. You're the Sanai. Goodbye. Ugh. 122k damage on Ungear, baby. Let's get it. That's gonna be popping off, doing his thing. You gotta think about how much life still get from that. And also, just throw this out there just to do something in another turn. So then next we have him just. I don't know why he had King in the back. Don't ever put King in the back. He is meant to be a front option, but it can be pretty interesting with RNG. But I killed his Lilia, which was level 55. And I don't know why he did that. I guess just climbing, fighting bots. And then he fought me. Like right there, immunity. That's another reason why uh, Elizabeth's so good. She gave me immunity, so he couldn't really do anything there. So he couldn't stop my King. He tried it. I didn't even have any king attacking cards in the first place, so we just kill his Meliodas because he just fought her. Goodbye. And if I was in this guy's shoes, I'd just force it. But, I guess he's uh, pretty tough. He just want, doesn't want to give up. So we got Escanor's ult. And, you know, I'm sending him the GG. He fought, he fought well, but he didn't stand a chance against our king. Still trying to tap the car a little wagon a little bit, honestly, I understand. But, um, going to break the legends. I have to take a break for the PvP. Um, I kind of needed it. I was, I guess, my relationship with the game could have been quote unquote unhealthy. The way, I don't know, just kind of controlling my life and stressing me out a lot. 
I just need to take a break, you know, from the PvP, and then come back later. And that's like what I'm doing, and you get rewards for just taking a break, so it's not even that bad. Like, all my friends are taking their break, and they seem to be happy on the game. So, like, well, I guess the only reason I'm not happy with the game is I just need to take a break and come back and deal with the, you know, minor BS. But right now, I'm just trying to see what's on my bot. I was trying to look for the blue Diane. Uh, not blue, the, yeah, the small blue Diane, but I couldn't find her. So I just go to my, uh, PvP team, and then I just click on her right there. So then I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I would UR her, but I'm just so lazy. If I UR her, the ult would hit a lot harder, too. I have the pendants, I just need to go get the books. I'm just a lazy-ass motherfucker. But now we're gonna get into the next match. Gotta go for the tavern and crap. But anyways, back to Legends. I don't know, the game's just in a weird state right now with Vegito Blue and Zenkai's. And it kind of sucks that I only got to do two multis on the... I was probably supposed to summon on it, but... Summon on it anyways, because Kaioken is one of my favorite techniques in Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Transformation. This is my favorite transformation. Super right next to Red Super Saiyan God and Ultra Instinct. Blue was pretty dope, but... Nothing can rival Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken in my opinion. In my opinion. Don't want anybody getting, you know, triggered. So we're going to get into this next match on Geared. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I gotta fix the team because, you know, I have to put Elizabeth on. I would keep Gother on, but actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I probably should use Gother instead of Escanor, but I brought my Escanor just because he's my best card I have. Right next to Demon Meliodas and my Blue Lilia. But she's a support, and Elizabeth was already our support. So I decided to just bring Blue Blue Green just because. Uh, Lilia dies, and she'll give Escanor his li literally one shotting all that one shot to almost anybody. I'm pretty sure in this match we see him one shot uh, a red unit. I won't say who, because I don't. Well, no, it's not this match. It's next match. Uh, we one shot a red unit. Don't want to say which red unit, but goddamn. So I was kind of nervous. I've never been able to beat really beat anybody in geared, but. I was like, YOLO it, man. Maybe my 6 6 key can make a difference and I can start farming these niggas. But let's see, our first match is gonna be. I don't know what the fuck this team is. All I know is that I. You could tell it's a bot because of, it's not. You could tell it's not a bot. Because bots always have matched. Um, what you call it? They always have a lot lower CC. That guy almost had more than me. And they also uh, have low level units. Like. Wait a minute, this is a bot? Oh lord, is this a bot? I think this might be a bot. I can't tell what level his Meliodas is. I'm pretty sure his Meliodas is more than my I can't really see it while I'm uh, talking over the recording. Pretty hard. Hey, 65, it's not a bot. So you can tell it's not a bot when they have different levels than you as well. But right there, he, he tried to stop me, but... I already had, I brought all food, and, uh, you know, we got Merlin in the back, Merlin in the back, and he removes all food, but that's not an issue, just because now we get a Petrify, and we, and we can also get a heal, or we can also disable the, the debuff skills with Elizabeth's level 1, but instead I'm like, you know what, your king's butt is mine, come on, so, I just take out his king here. Good biking. So now he's left with his. I'm not even scared of him. I'm just like, all right, Merlin. You gotta hold this and get this petrification. You're stopping me from ulting, honey. You're stopping me. So now we just got King and Escanor's ult. And surprisingly, he scared me when I saw Escanor drop down from the back. Oh my god. I was like, oh lord, here we go. Escanor from the back. But I'm thinking, I'm like, he can't kill anybody right now. He'd have to have, like, two level threes to kill my Escanor. I'd probably crit on one of them. But he didn't have, and his low level Meliodas, I was surprised he didn't even do patient damage. So, now we're just sitting here. Our 6-6 six, six king. And, let's see, I'm pretty sure here, I decided to disable the buff skills. Yep. You're the Sinai, and then Escanor all. Actually, surprisingly, the Meliodas does survive the Uterus and I. I'm just gonna keep calling it that. It's fucking off the Uterus and I. Boom. But, uh, I was surprised. It was mostly, probably most because of Merlin's cube. 
But it didn't even matter because that's the game. Go to the game. <laughs> Boom. 150k. So now we just got his Escanor just sitting by himself. And I and I don't understand why the man just doesn't leave. I mean, his hand is full. He can't even get his ult. I mean, if I was him, I'd just leave the game. So now we're just, we're just trying to figure out how I'm going to finish him. I barely have any attack cards in my hand. And he really wants my Escanor dead. But I'm like, you know what? It don't even matter. So I'm going to be a dick. And I'm just going to double heal. So I'm going to... Give Escanor a slight heal and then a full team heal. Also giving Escanor immunity so he can't hit me with any more of those ignites. But we heal up Escanor. And I'm pretty sure he targets King here, but honestly, do we really need King at this point? He's blue, he's green. Not gonna work out. And if he doesn't kill Elizabeth, then he basically dies. It doesn't even matter because Elizabeth gives to all gauge and she uh, full team heals. So he basically screwed himself over by not killing Elizabeth at the beginning of the match. It, honestly, it's RNG when it comes to this Elizabeth. You better be smart uh, or you just kind of die. Like this guy, he didn't go for Elizabeth and see where he got him? They got me to a muted Escanor and just killing his Escanor easily. And on gear, my Escanor is going to hit a lot harder just because he has way, way, way better Way better equipment. So, you know, we end his life. And that's the second match of the video, so. You know, now we're gonna get into the last match. And for the last match, we got one more CC food just in time. So now, this is where the. The, you know, people with a lot of CC start coming in. But I'm not scared of those guys. We're chilling. Ignore all that. But, back to, I guess we could talk about Legends again. I am planning to come back on July the 13th, which is when I will log back in, and I'm planning on making a, um, I guess, a welcome back login video, but besides that, here we are, the Mischief Red Mescula. She's very good on Global because of her commandment. That thing is wild. You see right there, she applies two ignites to anybody who don't attack. So if you're just trying to rush out twice, it's nothing but ignites. And then like, yeah, Escanor. I mean, he has Escanor, so then he, he or she, whoever I'm playing against, they could have just nuked me. But him not being that smart, he kills my Elizabeth right off the bat, which is what I really wanted him. You don't want her alive. It's nice to have her alive, but now he has chosen fate. My 3-6 Escanor with his maxed out attack equipment against his, uh, yeah, his mask. It's goodbye. Cause boom, I don't care. I don't care. If you're trying to play it safe and do a little revive games with Demon Meliodas and get the crits and stuff. But Escanor, he ain't playing the game. Oh, good Game over. Yes. Alright, so now... We just got his Escanor and his Demon Meliodas with his, I guess, high crit tag damage. But it don't matter. It don't matter. 6-6 six, six King says goodbye. Goodbye. Mescula, gone from the match. Literally, his team was based around Mescula, life stealing, and reviving, and giving Demon Meliodas, you know, some buffs. You know, a little gag team. You know, kind of like mine. But mine kind of just uh, does a little bit. No, the Yurda Sinai. Goodbye. Okay, that's what I like to play. So, he desperately tries to take out my king, but my king has full HP defense gear. You ain't killing him. I know you trying it, but it ain't working, cuz. It ain't working. Well, you know what time it is? It's time for Yurda Sinai. Goodbye. So, right here, I'm trying to tap my cards, but it's just, it's just lagging. So, I'm trying to play a little bit of stick because this is geared and I am freaked out because I've never won two matches in a row geared. So, I go straight for the Escanor. I'm like, that man's got go. Boom. So, we got him all the way down low health. So, I know this is killing. So, you know, we got King and Diane, Kua Shinanko, Yuta Sinai. Boom. Goodbye. So, all we got left is his King. And I'm honestly, I don't think his King could bring it back if, even if he had Petrified because my Escanor has immunity. And, our ult comes in next turn. It only didn't come in this turn. Yeah, it so people really understand. So I said with a little, alright, goodbye, you're done. 
but he doesn't refuse and he does not forfeit but or DC which I honor him so I'm just gonna perfect you for the style and yeah. Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed this first Rankos video and I'll see you guys next time peace, peace.